Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot, but if I'm a drone pilot, why am I holding a plane? That's because as a drone pilot, I also fly RC planes. So if you look at my hat, I'm wearing an FMS hat, which means I'm probably gonna talk about an FMS product, which is this plane. And this stunning looking plane is called the Hawker Typhoon 1100 because the wingspan is 1100 millimeters. Now this plane is pretty cool because due to its size, it fits nicely in your car, it fits in my back seat nicely. Now before I show you the flight I just want to tell you on the bottom you do have beautiful retracts so the wheels do go up you can flip them up in flight and it looks really stunning from the front looks like it's diving down to do some bombing. It also has ailerons over here and you have split flaps underneath you can barely see them but there are split flaps. You've also got your rudder in the back and your elevators. So you can see the paint scheme on top is stunning it looks really good in the air that's a nice paint scheme and if I show you the bottom because that's probably what you're going to see when it's flying it looks like that equally as stunning very nice very nice looking plane so at the end of this video right after i fly it i'm going to show you an unboxing i'm going to take it out of the box and i'm going to show you when i received this and put it all together built it so i'll show you how to assemble it but right now let's go to the flight Now all we got to do is connect the battery and we can go for a flight. It's a beautiful night. You can see the sun is setting over there and the uh, kids are playing soccer over there, but my field is pretty much empty. I do have this loose sand on the runway here, which could cause a problem if the wheels dig in. It's going to flip over. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Before I go for a flight, I'm just going to check the retracks. There we go. Wheels up and wheels down. There we go. That's good. Check all our surface motions, ailerons, yes. Elevator. And we have our rudder. Beautiful. And motor. Motor on. Ooh, I have dirt flying in my face. Full flaps. Flaps position two. There we go. Motor, motor on. Armed. Let's get her up. Flaps off. Level. And gear Zero. going up. There we go. Let's give it some speed. Whip it around here. A few low passes. Look at that, right in the sun. <laughs> it's such a cool looking play. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go around again. This guy's gonna come at me a little bit. There we go, nice and slow right in front. Actually, I'll bring it down a nice slow pass right in front like that. So let's go around, pick it up, and bring it around. This thing turns on a dime, I find. It really turns well. And I'm going to bring it really low as if I was going to land it with no landing gear. And there we go. Look at this thing. Look at that. Gorgeous looking. Gorgeous, I tell you. All right, crank it. Over my head, full speed now. Let's go this way. Over top. There we go. Well, that's pretty fast. You could definitely win some races with this one. Look at this. It's an awesome plane for sure. And if you fly at scale, well, then you're just going to keep diving it at the ground like this. Okay, scale, dive. Just got to make sure you pull it up. Whoa. Three minutes. It's supposed to fly for eight minutes too on the battery that's in it. I've got a uh, 4003S LiPo battery in there. Uh, it says it flies for eight minutes on that battery. Turning, yeah. landing gear out. I'm leaving the flaps off because it puts the brakes on too fast, but I'm going in a straight line this time. And nice and low. It's in great condition. There's nothing busted on it. Here, I'll just even put the, uh, Motor to stop. Gear up. put the gear back. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well. All right, let's put the gear down. gear down and let's plop it down on the ground. There we go. What a beautiful plane. So now as the sun is going down, making a beautiful evening and making this plane look utterly gorgeous, let me show you how I built this plane. Let me show you what comes in the box and how everything goes together. It's really simple. So check this out and then come back to me. 
This is the box your plane comes in and you can see the contents are well packaged. Items in the box include your propeller, your main wing set, the landing gears already installed as well as all the graphics and the servos. Here we have the prop spinner and prop base. Next you have the main fuselage and pretty much all the components have already been installed. And the final set of wings are your horizontal stabilizers. A horizontal stabilizer wing spar is included. This bag contains all the hardware for your plane as well as accessory items that you can place on the plane. The two last items include a USB-C cable and an instruction manual. Now I'll quickly show you how to assemble this plane. First you'll need the two horizontal stabilizers and the wing spar. Place the wing spar through the fuselage, then slide the horizontal stabilizers over the wing spar and they'll click into place. Secure everything in place with the provided screws. When done, you then need to connect the white clevis to the control horn on the elevator. Next, pull out the mesa wires from the center of the main wings, then feed all of those wires through the hole in the main fuselage, then put the wings in place, Secure the wings with the four included screws. To install the prop, place the base plate over the motor shaft. Next, slide the prop over the motor shaft. Lock everything in place tightly with the included prop nut. Then install the motor nose spinner. You are now pretty much done. If you want to attach the guns, you can. They just glue onto the wings. All right, so you're back to me. I'm just gonna take the battery out so I can show you what battery I was using. And it's right in here. I've got it shoved all the way to the front. So I'll just pull this out pull this out and there's my battery coming out now this is the ESC up here it's a 40 amp ESC and my battery which is in a mess of wires I'm trying to do this with one hand there we go can you see that it's a 3s 4000 30c lipo battery quite large and with this battery they say you'll get eight maybe even ten minutes of flight on this plane which is pretty cool I'm gonna put links to this plane below it's not super expensive I know it's one of the more popular planes by FMS a lot of people buy it because it looks so awesome and sexy in the air so go check it out it's a real easy plane to fly so if you're a beginner just learning how to fly RC planes and you've already flown one you could easily fly this with no problem and like I said it's 1100 millimeters so it fits in your car nicely all right guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up but if you have questions on the plane just post them below and of course the links to this plane are below as well all right guys catch you in the next video bye